stellar hunters have a lot of potentially viable ancient equipment accessories. Are you confused with which one you should choose? Well, today I'll be covering which accessories are the best, providing some general overviews, and also performing damage tests. If you want to know which one is the best, stay tuned. First will be the general overview. Starting off is the gold earring. This provides crit, raw attack, and the ideal physical penetration plus 4.5% random attribute. For newer players who may lack crit, this is great since you get a minimum of 10 crit. One point of crit costs 3 luck. You can choose to reallocate points from luck towards dex so you can increase your stellar hunter's damage. This is because of Elemental Arrow, which scales based on your dex. This accessory is also very flexible since the penetration percentage makes it one of the best physical damaging accessories in the game. I had done a damage test for my Novice Guardian, and this was the best one, so it's great that I could share this between my Style Hunter and my Novice Guardian. Next is the Brooch of Eros. It provides luck and a 24% critical damage with the ideal 12% critical damage random attribute. Luck has good synergy with Mastering Star Card and the Hyogen Star Card. One thing to note is there is diminishing returns for critical damage. Once you hit around 300 to 350%, it gets a lot less ideal. You can see the details in Blueberry's video. I'll put a link in the description. If you happen to be using the non-ancient equipment accessory Fading Tier, which gives you 100% critical damage for a certain duration, then you may want to factor that into your critical damage percentage and choose another optimal property such as penetration percentage or physical damage increase depending on what you're lacking. Next is the Golden Crested Lyre. It provides 12 dex, which is great for elemental arrow. Also lots of ranged attack percentage and the ideal random attribute gives physical damage increase of 4.5%. This is great for new players to have because the dex is quite significant. Next is Oceanic Zenny. It provides 16 strength. Note that your strength divided by 5 gives you one base attack. You can see the Stellar Hunter auto attack damaging formula from RobinHandbrook.com. I'll provide a link in the description in case you're curious about the details. This accessory provides auto attack and the ideal random attribute is 4.5% auto attack damage. I personally haven't seen many Cell Hunters using this, despite the auto attack damage being one of the best modifiers. I think the strength really kills this accessory. Finally, there is one accessory that I won't be covering in my damage test. It is Heirloom Greystone. This will be strictly worse than the Gold Earring, since the Gold Earring adds a lot of raw attack. I also don't have a way to simulate the 4.5% penetration random attribute, so the results will be quite inaccurate. I also personally haven't seen any style hunters using this accessory. If you lack attack speed, you could use Awakening Potions or the Agi B meals. Or you can get the excellent state Star Ruin which will remove the Exceed Breaks attack speed penalty, which has been one of the reasons why achieving 480% attack speed is a lot easier now. Next is my character setup. I don't have the perfect random attributes for all my accessories, so I need to simulate some of these random attributes with some tricks. Here is my gear. For offhand, I'm using the Eagle Flute for the physical damage percentage increase. For armor, I'm using the Eagle Rectrix Hunter's Trapping for the penetration percentage. I use the Heart Card for MVP damage. For garment, I'm using the Campaign's Manteau for auto attack damage percentage increase. For card, I use the Hyugen card for critical damage percentage increase. For shoes, I use the Dragon Slayer's War Boots for the penetration percentage with the Flute Player Star card. For accessories, I use the Pendant of Hyugen because I need it later on for simulating physical damage percentage increase. This only provides me the damage, so you would never use this as a Stellar Hunter. For weapon, I use the Bow of the Wind Chaser. The reason is that it's easier to do the damage test. The Overlord Crap Bow has the annoying heavy arrow proccing, which will skew the results. 
so the Wind Chaser is easier because you do have an auto attack damage increase, but it only stacks to 3 and it's easy to see in the status bar. For cards, I use 2 Minora Star cards. For head, I use the Bashful Moment. For face, I use the Illusory Light Mirror for the auto attack damage increase. For mouth, I use the Huge Bounty. For back, I use the Love Goddess for the final damage. For Ancient Relic, I use the Waze Size. Here are my stats with self buffs. I have 20,000 attack. My attack speed is 480%. I have 84% penetration. My critical is at 187, and my critical damage is at 265.1%. My auto attack damage increase is at 56.6%. My damage is at 102.4%, and my physical damage increase is at 56.4%. For Oracle Mirror, I'm using the Combustible Knife for 8% penetration. For my Adventure Handbook, I'm at 2,374 attack and 49% attack deposits. Next are the damage tests. First is the plus 15 gold earring with 4.5% penetration. I am using the training dummy which is dragon, large, and undead. It is also set to boss. This is to simulate the fantastic dragon in Panape Museum. Also for these tests I'll hit it long enough to be able to see the 3 counters accumulate in the status bar for the auto attack bonus for the wind chaser bow. I hit it for 4.59 million damage. Next, I set the dummy to 50% strength. I hit it for 2.925 million damage. Next, I set the dummy to 80% strength. I hit it for 239,491 damage. Next is the Brooch of Eros. To simulate the 12% crit, I use the Rogue card for critical damage plus 5%. Then I remove the extra crit by taking out the Soldier Skeleton card from my handbook. I use this card for all my other damage tests. I start with the 0% dummy. I hit it for 4.65 million damage. Next, I set the dummy to 50% strength. I hit it for 2.95 million damage. Next, I set the dummy to 80% strength. I hit it for 243,156 damage. For my next test, I show that I'm cleaning stuff up by taking out the rogue card and also redepositing my soldier skeleton card. My golden crusted liar is not maxed, so I swap in my Ukin that has the 3% physical damage increase. I set the dummy to 0% strength. I hit it for 4.776 million damage. Next, I set the dummy to 50% strength. I hit it for 3 million damage. Next, I set the dummy to 80% strength. I hit it for 243,348 damage. Now I have to do cleanup again. I re-equip the Pendant of Ugin with the HP percentage. My Oceanic Zenny isn't max auto attack damage. To make up for it, I use the Dream Cat's Tail 
for the 1.5% auto attack damage. I set the dummy to 0% strength. I hit it for 4.6 million damage. Next, I set the dummy to 50% strength. I hit it for 2.9 million damage. Next, I set the dummy to 80% strength. I hit it for 235,157 damage. Finally, here is the summary. The Gold Encrusted Lyre wins for every dummy strength. I would have thought the gold earring would have won some of them, but it doesn't seem like the penetration percentage affects my character enough. So at least for my character, the gold encrusted lyre wins. In second place would be the brooch of arrows. I hope these results and analysis will help you choose the correct ancient equipment accessory for your stellar hunter. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.